Hello everyone, welcome back to Parser Games and in today's episode I'll be showing you the basics of cloud variables in under 3 minutes. Let's go. So to get started I made this little project here which is a kind of cookie clicker. So if you start the project your current score is 0 and then every time you click the cookie your score goes up. And now what we're going to do today is we're going to add a variable which is going to be a high score and it's not just going to be your own high score, it's going to be a global high score. So this high score will actually be shown to everyone who plays this game and then if you beat the high score then you have the new high score. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add a new variable called high score. And now we're going to click over here which makes it into a cloud variable. And now this is a new variable and this is important that cloud variables only support numbers and not letters or symbols. So if you want to actually save a username, that will be in another tutorial, which I will link in the iCard in the top right corner. And that tutorial will show you how to save actual words and letters in your cloud variables. Now let's see. So what we're going to add is we're going to check if the current score is higher than the high score and if that's the case we're gonna set the high score to the current score obviously and we'll play a little sound which I've already imported and that's gonna happen right here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start playing and I'm obviously gonna already have the new high score so you heard that sound and now every time I'm clicking it, we can hear the sound because I'm always increasing the current high score. But if I restart the project now, the high score stays. And I'm going to have to click 34 times to get a new high score. And that's already it. So that's how you use cloud variables in Scratch. It's really simple, they work just like normal variables except you can't store any letters. So no alphabet, for example. But as I said, there's a tutorial for that coming very soon. In case you're watching this in the future, it's probably already out. And if you want to see it, just click on the iCard in the top right corner or look into the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you soon.